And for those who are kind of in a bit of a funk, I don't want to use the depression word, but in a bit of a funk, as the second day of it hits in, uh, I don't know if it gets better. Maybe what solves it is Devers and Altoni. But that's not happening because that involves spending. Look, I've had this theory after the Trevor Story signing that I joked, I said, get ready for Trevor Story and the Red Sox players without a name on the jerseys because so many things are being built up around Fenway that is baseball necessary, the most important thing. Like, let's just call it what it is. For some people, it's just going to be a place to take some great selfies, you know, get in a little loge box and turn themselves around towards the field, take a photo. They've only been there since the, the, the middle of the fifth. You know, they happen to catch a good show up the street. Had a good dinner earlier when, when first pitch happened. Watched some of the game in the restaurant. Some organizations are looking at the total experience around the baseball park and not necessarily what's on the field. To me, that's what the Trevor Story signing said. Because it's like, okay, you've got one person who was a shortstop and the other person who's a shortstop and one agrees to play second. There's only a couple times you've seen that, like, you know, A-Rod and, and Jeter... But normally, if you're a shortstop and you get sizable money, and again, here's and this is the thing. I remember I was on the air. It was a Sunday morning when the news broke that Trevor Story had been signed, and the loud voices were like, man, Haim is going to get nobody. Everybody was going by the wayside, by the wayside. You're like, oh, okay, well, that shows that he spends. It was really the first time spending, but nobody saw Trevor Story missing almost 50% of the games this year. 